Entertainer and magician Michael Carbonaro. Princess naming ceremony here in the spectacular Princess Arena. Uh, I'm glad you're all joining us here and a, a warm welcome to those viewers around the world joining us on our live stream. For me to be on this ship, I can't tell you how thrilled I am. Uh, actually, I can. I am very, very thrilled. I was lucky enough to follow through the last stages of her construction and I was part in announcing the new Spellbound, extraordinary experience. Oh yeah, there, there's magic on board the ship. <laughs> so now for me to be back here with my princess family, here for this important celebration, I'm telling you, I really am super thrilled. Now this, this ship is part of a new class of ship for princess, the Sphere class. Those of you who've been sailing with us and had a chance to explore, you already know how special this ship is. If you are just joining us today, well, there is so much to do on board. Let's take a look.
today we officially name this beautiful vessel, which is good because we can't keep calling her beautiful vessel. We have our team outside right now by the bow of the ship getting ready to release the bottle for this iconic celebration. So let's check in with our cruise director, Kareen. Kareen, are you there? Hello, Michael, and hello to all of our special guests. Yes, we are out here getting ready for the very special moment. The champagne bottle is being secured to its rigging, and me and my teammates can't wait for this momentous occasion. Are you ready? <laughs> now, this is the biggest bottle of champagne I have ever seen. It's a Nebuchadnezzar and holds 20 regular bottles of champagne. That is a lot of bubbles. And today we are honoured to extend our gratitude to Verve Clico for their presence in today's ceremony with providing our Nebuchadnezzar. Well, Michael, I think it's time to head back to you in the Princess Arena. Hey, anyone else feeling thirsty? <laughs> Looks like Kareen and the team are almost ready out there, so let's get ready for our part. Please join me in welcoming to the stage the president of Princess Cruises, John Paget, and the captain of Sun Princess, Craig Street. <laughs> Fantastic to share the stage with you here for this uh, exciting and important ceremony. You must, you must be so proud of Sun Princess. Yeah, Sun Princess is incredible. It is the largest, most luxurious love boat ever created. And you know, it takes 5,000 amazing people from our shipbuilding partner, Vic Kentari, to make this ship come alive. And I wanted to recognize Gigi Matarazzo that here is today with us in all that effort and that leadership to deliver that ship. Thank you, Gigi. I also want to thank Josh Weinstein, CEO of Carnival Corporation, who has given us tremendous support over the brand over the last few years as we've come back from the pandemic and been a big time player in delivering this ship. So thank you so much, Josh. But there's one guy that rises above everyone when it comes to the belief in the Princess brand and the power and what it makes to be great that we're going to try to personify in this Sun Princess. And that's Mickey Harrison, Chairman of the Board of Carnival Corporation. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you. you know, the love boat made Princess a household name over 40 years ago. And the original cast of the love boat has made, been the best brand ambassadors you could ever imagine from a company perspective. And we have three of the original cast members here today. And I want to call them out. Everyone goes, uh, We have Bernie Copo, we have Ted Lang, we have Chris Lang. We have Doc and And we can all tell that the Sun Princess is great, but to have a great ship, you have to fill it with great experiences, and to do that, you have to get the greatest creatives in the world together to do that. And we've put together one heck of a portfolio for the Sun Princess. I want to recognize some of them today. Romero Brito, one of the greatest artists in the world. We got Jeff Reedy, one legendary in the cruise industry. Jeff. We had Dario, the world's greatest butcher. We all love her being here. Dario! Yeah. Right. <laughs> we have one of the greatest sushi masters in the world, Chef Makoto. Yeah. And you can't have food without incredible drink. And we have master mixologist Rob Floyd. Yeah. And of course, this is Princess, so you need a little royalty. Chef Darren McGrady, Chef of the Royals. So with all that, this ship's going to be an incredible, incredible experience. But to make that happen, it takes someone that can take this ship from a shipyard with amazing leadership and amazing teammates all on board and bring it and breathe life into it. And that's what you've done, Captain Street. Thank you so much for everything you've done.
Well, thank you, uh, JP, and ladies and gentlemen. It's a huge honour and a privilege for me to be stood here commanding this uh, fantastic ship. Really, is the pinnacle uh, of my career. A fantastic team on board, I have to shout out. You can't do this alone. 1,650 teammates selected uh, from around the Princess fleet, the very best that we have to offer. And really, it's down to them. They've uh, worked tirelessly, they've uh, breathed life and soul uh, into this wonderful ship and to bring it to our, to our wonderful guests. So I want to thank them. It's been a huge honor working alongside them. exciting ship, you know, the very uh, biggest uh, ship that's been ever been built, a uh, cruise ship in Italy, the very first of our ships, uh, powered by uh, liquefied natural gas, we're always looking um, to reduce our carbon footprint as much as possible, and all the other wonderful experiences on board the ship, and I say it's just a, a fabulous experience, and thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the princess really is a special ship. Thank you. Congratulations, JP, Captain, the entire team. Thank you, guys. Yes. Wow. So, yes. Yeah. It is a success. You can't hold it back. Uh, we have, of course, an incredible celebration to honor this important milestone. But we are missing one very important special guest before we can proceed. The most important role in our naming ceremony, the ship's godmother. Yes. In the time-honored tradition of naming a ship, the role of godmother is taken very seriously because it becomes part of the ship's and maritime history. But, JP, before I give you the go-ahead to introduce our special guest one more time, let's just check in with Corrine on the key side. Corrine? Hello again, Michael. Yes, I have been joined by even more of the Sun Princess crew, and we are out here enjoying this gorgeous Mediterranean weather. Did you know it's been almost 40 years since the original love boat, Pacific Princess, sailed her first Mediterranean season. And now here we are eagerly awaiting the introduction of our brand new godmother. As you said, Michael, this is a time honored tradition. And in the past, the godmother would throw a bottle of bubbly over the side of the ship attached to a rope. But for a ship this size, we need to make an even bigger splash, and we are ready to celebrate! Woo! The bottle is almost ready to be released, so Michael, it's back over to you to continue with this ceremony. Thank you, all right. I love how the maritime world keeps with tradition, but yet moves forward in a new direction. That's kind of the same thing that we're doing here with Sun Princess. Um, okay, JP, this is the big moment. Let's introduce our godmother. All right. Our godmother is an award-winning singer and actor, best known for her role in Ted Lasso. She has great passion for entertainment, and she loves the ocean, which makes her a perfect fit for the Princess brand and to be our godmother. It's my honor to introduce godmother of Sun Princess, Hannah Waddingham. <laughs> Think when you were asked to be godmother of this beautiful ship? I thought it was a joke and I thought that somebody had made a ridiculous mistake because I've seen over the years the magnificent godmothers that have been asked to, you know, associate with the ships and, and I, I couldn't believe it and I was so quick to reply to the email because I don't know whether anyone knows but as much as theatre ripples through my bloodstream, I have the strongest history of maritime in my family. We still have my grandfather, he's 107, and he was on the North Atlantic convoy scraping the ice off the bows of the ship. So it is in my blood and in my bones. So it's a real great privilege to be on this grand diva, the first of her class. So I'm really completely thrilled. Well, we are so happy to have you. Thank you. It's about that time. 
And as with everything in Sun Princess world, we are taking tradition and giving it a new spin. So let's officially welcome our new ship to our fleet. Let's do this. <laughs> And thank you, Hannah, for naming our ship. Thank you for watching online, and thank you guys for joining us here. We invite you now to continue exploring our stunning newly named Sun Princess. We'll see you out there. <laughs> 